Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more of the second Reality Project 2 Zyklaboos Challenge. And we have finally made it to the power supply at the end of World 7, which seems to be our green switch level. Hello. I guess I'm going down here. These are apparently grab blocks. There's a dragon coin down there that seems to be inaccessible, but it is not. We must get the dragon coins. I mean, we don't have to, but we will. I'm a completionist, so I must. Okay, you're here. If you can hit the switch, you will be able to warp back to Mushroom Kingdom if you enter Mario Castle again. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright, we'll be able to get back to the first reality. This whole game's been in the second reality so far. Get out of here, Koopa. Stupid Koopa, who does he think we are? So there appears to be some places we can't go because we need to hit a switch. But that's fine. Also, I think I might have missed something back up by that message block. Yeah, there we go. You can go through that wall and get the coins. I don't need them, but I wanted to show that you could do that. Which might provide some insight for that dragon coin up there. No, you can't jump up at it from below Metroid Fusion style. Although dropping down here kind of reminded me of that one part when you get to like the third area in Metroid Dread. I think it's the third area. Maybe the fourth. I'm not really sure. But like, you know, the one-way thing there. Anyways, Dragon Coin. Ow! I miss. There we go. Oh my gosh, there's so many spikes. Let's let's actually try here, okay? That spikes too. There's just so many graphics in hacks like this that I'm not used to. That I'm I just don't know what to watch out for. But it's like, no, you know, those are spikes. They're just not spikes I commonly see. This is death. So we need to hit a switch again. One in here. Oh, these aren't spikes, though. These are gears that push us like conveyor belts. So we've got our dragon coin up here. And our switch up there, if we can get there. There we go. Where am I going? Okay. So that's a power-up I don't want. Oh! Well, you know what? I can just... I can just load and not deal with that. I can just load and not deal with that. Okay, and I, I don't think I could get- no, those are spikes, so no going down there. Coins here are just for collecting, it looks like. They weren't, like, saying that I could go through that wall or anything like that. You never know. Hit another switch, now we can go back and continue on. Got some urchins. So that pipe has got to go somewhere, but this also has to lead to some coins, apparently. Okay, moving on. 
back above water. Get out of here, ninji. Got a dragon coin hanging out down here. So we've got almost all of them. I mean, over half at least. Get some of these out of my way. Platform nicely around that guy. There's our checkpoint. Oh boy. Lots and lots of gears. Okay, so we need to hit a switch so we can get down. Another dragon coin. We only need one more. We've got to get up. So our switch is up here. There we go. Ah! Don't do that. No. Nothing in that wall. We clearly have to go into a wall there if we want those coins. Which I kind of do just for the sake of completion. I can't grab these. Ah! That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, now there's another switch here which we probably want to hit for some reason. So let's do it, otherwise it wouldn't be there. Yeah, right here. Needed it to get through there. Let me in the... I can't get in the wall there, apparently. But the coins up there are probably marking where I can. There we go. Even gave me a nice little space to run. Back underwater again, and our final dragon coin. We've got to be really close now. Yep, I hear boss music, but this isn't... well, this is a boss. Oh man, he actually hurts me when I touch him now. Normally, Big Boo doesn't do that, and by extension, Zyklaboo, since he's a reskin of Big Boo. I mean, Big Boo does do that when it, he's not a boss. And this, this Zyklaboo, I guess, is not really a boss. I really wish he would get out of my way. There we go. Ow! I mean, he's gotta be here, because it's the end of a world, and we always have a fight against him at the end of each world. But we've escaped him. Does that count as a boss? It is a Zyklobu encounter at the end of a world. And I mean, in the classic games, you just get past Bowser, so I don't know, maybe that counts. Thanks, now I have unlimited powers. Hee hee hee. The switch will turn uh, green outline blocks into green exclamation blocks. My triumph will also be saved. Well, now I don't know if I want to save. No, we'll save it. Okay, so now we have access to this pipe back to the start. Because Zyklobu said he was going to the castle here, even though we just saw him at the power supply. And we, you know, instead of being able to get back to the first reality, which we theoretically should be able to do now, we also powered him up. But yeah, so we need to go back to Mario Castle, but before we do that, we just got the Green Switch Palace, so of course we have to go back and do some stuff. So we want to go back 
to area 16B right here. I think this is, like, if you look at the levels, you know, you've got, like, yellow and red levels, but you've also got small and big levels, and I think this level here might be the only big level on the entire map. I'm not sure about that. I'd have to double check that. But there's a reason for it being a big level. And I'll show you in a bit. There's nothing down here, right? No. We gotta see where the... where the green switch is having an effect. It sure looks like there's a door here. There's not like a P switch around, is there? This is a ceiling, right? Yeah. No! I tried to jump over it. You didn't jump. What about here? Can we go up here? No, that seems to be a ceiling, too. Okay. Well, I assume that the green blocks aren't too far in. There we go. They catch us here now, so we can get up here. And we have made it to another top secret area, which we can just immediately ignore. But we're not gonna do that. Well done, you found top secret area number seven. If you don't want to play it, just take the exit pipe. Otherwise, continue. Yeah, I want to play it. Give me those coins that I don't need. Here's our bonus for top secret area number seven. And we're back into the scrap of rain. Oh boy, we have saws again. This time on the top and bottom. So they're not like chasing us, but they're still very much there. Is that Galoomba gonna be okay? It looks like he got kind of squashed. Oh no. We have these alternating lasers in an auto scroll section. Why does my gut say that their timing is going to be a bit tricky? Ah! I didn't even notice they would be there. Okay, I need to get there way earlier. There we go. Okay, not so bad aside from that one part where you had to be like way ahead of the game, literally. That part was a little scary, but it ended up not being too bad. They gave us plenty of time. Wasn't sure they were after how tight that other moment was. Oh, I went too early. Oh boy, Chuck is here, and he seems to be immune to that electricity. I can't spin the bob bomb Surely I can, and it just didn't work, right? Yeah, I can. Okay. And there we go, we finished Top Secret Area 7. Let's hit all these blocks. Get our coins.
And there we go, we can exit. But, there was something a little suspicious back here, so let's take a look at it. This spot here... Oh, look! It's eight! It said eight! Ha! I can't fool you, right? You've just found the last top secret area in this game. This time, it's something special. Good to hear. Okay, so we seem to need the yellow switch to even get into it. And of course we needed the green switch to even get here in the first place. So we've got another exit pipe, but why would we use that when we're this far? Unless we didn't have the yellow switch, but we do. Alright, so we've got some underwater disco here. That's cool. Looks like a maze with lots of coins. Not exactly sure where I should be going. Down looks like the direction to go, but I want to see what's up both literally and metaphorically up. Yeah, so this is just a dead end here, so let's get that back down. I'm gonna take this. I probably don't need it, but it could be useful. I saw an exit pipe there. So if we go down here, there we go, we finished Top Secret Area 8. Or did we? Because if we have the blue switch, we can go up here. So yeah, so far the red switch is the only one we haven't needed. Look at all these useless exit pipes. So there's some stuff over here. What's in these blocks? There's a P switch. Okay, we need fire flower to continue, and that that's what was in that box, right? A fire flower. Although it probably would have been a mushroom if we were small. Well, we have a fire flower anyways. We don't need to worry about this. I wanted to hit that block up there. I don't need to. But I would have liked to. There we go. And now we can use our P-switch, but I'm gonna get my cape back first. And you need the red switch to get through here, so you need all four switches to get through all this. Back into Scrap Brain. And what is this? Another exit? A second exit in a yellow level? But it was a big level on the map, remember? That's because this is a special secret secret exit. I said secret twice, making it very cheesy. Anyways, uh... Yeah, so this goes to a warp zone, and where does this warp zone lead to? Well, to the secret special world, of course, whatever it's called. And we can start this off with Power Cat's Train. Welcome to the Lost World. The Power Cats and some other funny guys are living here, and they have some hard challenges for you. Good luck! So yeah, we've made it to the Lost World, is what it's officially called. Just like in the Donkey Kong Country games. Ooh, invisible black, thank you. 
Well, I don't need that. Ah! Monty Mole, why? Don't do that to me. Ow. So we have these, like, vehicles just hanging on ropes. One of the five dragon coins. We still got to be looking for those, as always. It's not like they're gonna give us a break from them just because we're in the lost world. If anything, that mean they want us to look harder. So we got another dragon coin here, and we can see a keyhole because yeah, this level has two exits. Mummy in the door! Okay, bats and fire. Not a good combination. You mix those two together and you get fire keys. And no one wants fire keys. Oh, and also the, the thing keeps scrolling here to show you all the power cats then it kills you, so, you know, we don't really want to do that for too long. Okay. That's... Okay, I'm glad this still works. You might have heard the noise change for a second there. My earbuds actually came unplugged, because the way they plug in is really bad. I don't know what the deal is. There's nothing gonna come down back here. But it's like, they didn't move, but they still came unplugged. So you may have heard music coming out of my actual computer. Hopefully it wasn't too loud, because my computer's right next to the mic. That's why I'm using earbuds. But I was able to get them back in, and they didn't glitch my emulator out. Because for some reason lately, when I've been unplugging my earbuds and plugging them back in, I've no longer been able to hear the sound on my emulator. So glad that didn't happen here. I just hope when the... I, like, I don't know how that sounded to you when the music changed. Hopefully it wasn't loud. Because my computer is right next to the mic. It's also to the side of the mic, and I have a directional mic. So it might not have picked it up too well, but it probably did. It was probably loud. I'm sure you could at least hear it. I would be shocked if you couldn't. No, go through the door! Okay, where are we now? Yeah, no! Bad Bat! So I want to explore both the top and bottom. But these bats are making it tricky, so there's a door down there. On the bottom. But there's a dragon coin up here. And we can't go down this part of the track because there's a thing blocking it. I really hope that the sound isn't all messed up on the recording now. So that was the same door that we saw before, right? It looks like it. Okay, yeah. Let's go through. I'm gonna be so mad if the sound is messed up. part of the mines seem to be flooded. So 
I, I doubt they're using those anymore, although to be fair, a lot of this track seems unusable now. They're using these, though. Just going back and forth. How's it going, Power Kitty? Get on this one real quick. There we go. Got some more power cats. Aren't they cute? They don't even really look like cats, but... Even so... Let me out! Oh, no. Also, I have to point out that, like, the Koopas turned into the... the masked Koopas, so... Something we completed... changed the... like, when you do the special zone in the original Super Mario World. I assume it was when we finished Top Secret Area 8. But I, I just wanted to point out that that changed, because I never said anything about it yet. So we made it to our checkpoint. There's a switch back there. There's a Thunder Bro here. We don't want that. Okay, what is this section all about? It appears kind of maze-like. I mean, I do like mazes, but the completionist in me gets worried about them. But at the very least, we only need one more dragon coin at this point. Underwater again. Why do they keep building this train stuff underwater? Back down into Aquatic Mine. Once was a coal pit, now it's a water ride. Yeah, I'm not wasting my time with those coins. Just let me through. That was really risky the way I did that, but whatever. It worked. Okay, now we've got Auto Scroller again. Why didn't that work? Come on. Sometimes those just don't hit. Oh, no, I fell down, so I couldn't spin him. Oh, well, that's fine. We're okay. No. Yeah, so I said that, you know, this wouldn't be working for them, but they're riding through the water pretty well. 
it looked like at least one of them. Yeah, these are just floating. They're not even on tracks. But that's cool, I guess, that it's working at all. And now, of course, you know, it scrolls you off screen. Also, I totally saw one of those trains, like the last one, going into the wall. Oops. Because the water was too... Uh, like, it was too close to the edge of the water. It started going through the wall. Alright, Monty Moles, you need to chill out. Fidget Bills? No! Get back, Pidget Bills. Some flames in this level are hidden and easy to avoid. No risk, no fun. But before taking any risks, hit the switch first. Okay, so we've got to get risky with some fire after we hit a switch. Interesting. We missed a dragon coin. I wonder if it's in whatever secret they were just mentioning. How did we miss a dragon coin? It's gotta be in the other pathway. Which I'm not entirely sure how to get to. Like, I honestly didn't see it on my whole way through the level, but I'll find it. And the normal exit just sends us back. Yeah, so we need to get the secret exit to continue through the Lost World. So let's get looking, I guess. I know that at some point we need to go through a wall. That's why I was, you know, checking what I thought was pretty thoroughly for a while in this level. But I guess it wasn't thorough enough. Maybe I stopped checking too early. But I want to say that the part in the wall is like down below somewhere. Similar to here. Where exactly? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure it's somewhere down below. Oh, you know what? Right here. That's not down below, but... Okay, maybe it's one of the later... One of the later... Sumo Bros. I think I called them Thunder Bros before. I should know better. I want to go back. Just because I don't want to accidentally pass it again. Also, there's a dragon coin here. So the keyhole was right there. But we can't reach it from there. Had just enough room to scrape by there. Okay, let's do the auto-scroll again. No. Don't do that. Darn it, game. Stupid bat. I'm not going to be able to go through there. Where do I need to go? I don't know. I want to say it's like in the lower right of a big room. But I'm pretty sure I checked those spots. 
I also checked to make sure that I didn't have to go to the left after this thing went down. But I'm gonna check again. No, there's nothing there. Not right there. Maybe, yeah, right here. Okay. And is the... Is the dragon coin this way? I hope. Ah, oh, come on. Darn it. So there's a door there, but we can also keep going here to hit a switch. That's awesome. Now we could go through this door, but that would just bring us to like a place we've already been. Why do I think I've missed a dragon coin that's like not on this path? Anyways, they talked about messing with fire that you're not likely to fall into and that was right there. Alright, time for more power cats. Another power cat train moment. Gotta be careful not to get crushed against the screen. Make sure you're far enough ahead that you won't get auto-scrolled off. When you have to hide in the little cubby areas. Nope! But also don't be so far ahead that you're running into stuff like that. Slipped right in there. No! I was too far ahead. Alright, we're doing pretty well, and the train stops here. And doesn't go through the wall, like in that water section. Are we back in familiar territory? No, and the key is over there. Seems like we've got a couple ways to go. The key was in this direction, but I think we don't need to hit a switch again. Oh no, we do. The thing is, the part I passed through is to make sure that we have to go back and hit this switch a second time. Have we seen this switch? Because we were supposed to be able to see it on our first run through of the level. You know, over in that section where we couldn't reach it. But yeah, now we can't get back out. So we need to hit the switch again. Because yeah, that could be where the other dragon coin was in the area to the right there. Get out of here. So that's a door, so I can't really go through that with my key, but I'll show where it goes. To our checkpoint spot. But the keyhole is right here. And 
then, you know, I'm not really sure where that other dragon coin is, and this video's long enough, and that level's pretty long. So I'll start out the next video by showing you where the dragon coin I missed was, and then we'll move on to Funhouse Deluxe. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I'll see you then.